Hi everyone, my name is Chloe, and today we are going to be reading Our Changing Earth, written by Colin Walker and illustrated by Hilary Ravenscott. Now, just by looking at this, do you guys know what we're going to be talking about today? I think that we're going to be learning about our Earth and maybe even talking about volcanoes because that's the picture that we're seeing here, but let's find out. We live on Earth. We build our houses on the Earth. We can swim in the water on the Earth's surface. Oh, yep, these are the volcanoes. Millions of years ago, the Earth's surface was very warm. Many volcanoes erupted, emitting hot, molten rocks from deep inside the Earth. Now, does anyone know what the word emitting means? Because that's a tough one. Emitting is basically producing or releasing. So these volcanoes were releasing a bunch of hot rocks from inside the Earth. For millions of years, it was too hot for anything to live on Earth. As the Earth began to cool down, simple plants and animals appeared. See how these little plants are starting to grow? Much later, prehistoric animals lived on the still warm earth. Some grew to enormous sizes. Do you guys know what these are called? Dinosaurs, yeah, that's right. Then most of the earth became cooler, then cold, then icy cold. Many animals died out during the Ice Age, but not all of them, because some animals can't live in the really cold weather, and some animals like this one can't live in the really hot weather. After the Ice Age, it became warm again. Different kinds of plants and animals grew. You see here we have a moose and a horse, so new animals and plants like trees are growing. We have been able to learn about these changes by looking at fossils. Fossils are the remains of plants and animals that used to live on, earth, on the earth a long, long time ago. Fossils can be found in deserts that were once swamps or on mountains that used to be under the ocean. Our Earth has been changing for millions of years and is still changing. It's a pretty cool book to learn about our Earth. Okay, today for our short activity, we are going to be recreating some fossils that scientists have found. So you can either just use a piece of paper and pencils, or you can use coloring pencils, or even if you have Play-Doh or something, you can make the shapes inside the Play-Doh. But today we're just using a piece of paper and a pencil. And so for you guys, I drew this fossil. Now, does anyone know what this may look like? If you said a plant or a leaf, you'd be correct. So they found a fossil that looks just like this one. Now we have this fossil. Does anyone know what this fossil looks like? A fish, yes. These are the little fish bones. So this fish, people have found this fossilized, which was pretty cool. Now, lastly, this is a little tricky, but what do you guys think these are? So these 
were little feet from an animal. So some animals' feet might not look like this anymore, cause, so these feet could be from a dinosaur, or they could be from another animal that we're, we don't know of, but these are an animal's little feet, which are pretty cool. But that's it. You guys can just draw fossils or make fossils in any kind of shapes and any sort of Play-Doh or anything you guys want. So have a good day.